3rd January 1942 amidst millions of Indians weary of slavery and crying for freedom was born a man who would eventually go on to bring about a revolution through the liberation of mankind born as Shajal Kumar Chakraborty in a pious Brahmin family to Kanai Lal Chakraborty and Indu Prabha Devi in the village of Rehmatpur in Borishal district of Bangladesh the most significant facets of his character had declared their presence from the very onset of his adolescence an unbounded love for mankind which would thereafter go on to direct the rest of his life several years later this man would come to be known as bhagwan in the year 1971 bhagwan was tied in matrimony to his holy consort the revered guruma who is now the shango janani of international vedanta society in a few years his only daughter devjani was born who would go on to become one of the torch bearers of the movement started by her father around this time when faced with betrayal denial and hatred Swami Vivekananda's poem to an early violet came to his hands and marked a new beginning in Bhagwan's life. It was not too long before he met his guru Swami Pavitrananda Maharaj and by virtue of his pure intellect and intense love for his master Bhagwan attained the highest state of consciousness. the nirvikalpa samadhi in the year 1984 thereafter his overflowing love for mankind which was a natural outcome of his realization of oneness with the universe spurred him on to form an organization which would go on to work as a lighthouse to show unto the world the way to peace The year 1989 thus saw the humble beginning of the International Vedanta Society. Seeking to cultivate the knowledge of brahman amongst the masses this movement was spearheaded by bhagwan and carried forward by six of his devotees who went on to embrace sanyasa later on in their lives ab ye shotto ke jane se ye चरम सत्य पृथ्वी छड़िए महाशून्य छड़िए से एक परम सत्य से एक भयंकर सत्य जो सत्य साधारण मानसर को सम्पर्क ही नहीं क्योंकि सत्य से ब्रह्म बेस्ड एट इट्स हेडक्वार्टर इन आमिनगव आसाम सेंटर सेट अप in Varanasi and Calcutta and organization spread its wings from these places 30 years into its existence IVS has now spread wings in different parts of the world including Europe Australia and the Americas attracted by his ineffable love devotees gather around him as bees gather around flowers that blossom enthusiastic participation by the youth in the movement is one of the striking features of this organization inspired by the ideals of vedanta and touched by the divine grace of bhagwan 
the young generation has become an integral part of IVS. Engaged in spiritual discussions and contemplations, their lives are gradually transformed and they dare to dream of carrying forward this knowledge of Vedanta to the wider world. Discourses on Vedanta are held every day across all the centers of IVS. Bhagawan's sannyasi disciples preach the essence of Advaita Vedanta to all devotees irrespective of caste, religion or age. Leaflets and pamphlets are distributed amongst people and cultural locations hosted to raise awareness about the message of truth <laughs> Devotees also involve themselves in acts of social service such as distribution of clothes, blankets and food amongst the downtrodden and the destitute. Service to mankind is verily service to God. Vedanta, man's only hope for a better future, is the ultimate reality of existence and declares with the boldest conformity that the reality is one and calls it by the name Brahman. It is not merely a concept, but based upon pillars of self-realization. Each self is one with Brahman, and hence there is no essential difference between man and man. It is this knowledge of oneness that burns to ashes all of man's doubts and fears, as the real nature of itself shines forth. His worries are dispelled by the revelation that within every man is an infinite storehouse of bliss. What is the absolute reality and God realization or self-realization is possible. Even in this era, in this present era, in this modern era, this realization of God or Atma is very much possible. And for that one doesn't have to renounce anything. We can realize God or the Atman or the Self by staying wherever we are, in whatsoever field we are engaged with. In 2004, Bhagawan, directed by a divine command, while in Samadhi, introduced the Krishna Naam amongst his devotees. It is held that the intellectually rich thoughts and ideals of Advaita Vedanta could not become a subject for the masses unless there is an easier to grasp and equally effective medium to impart this knowledge. The introduction of Krishnanam saw the inclusion of several hundreds of devotees from all sections of society, touched by his divine love and dancing in celebration of life. Bhagawan once said, 
I will crush the god made of stone and mix it with people. Bhagwan is now realizing his saying. He is now busy in mixing the supreme in one and all. Whosoever comes to him with faith and reverence realizes not only the tremendous spiritual potency of Bhagwan, but also unveils the bliss and peace within himself. God realization, self realization. is no more confined to the pages of scriptures or in monasteries and ashrams but has been brought down to the life of the commoners by the indomitable spirituality of bhagwan a renaissance in the history of spirituality has been set anandam kholi tar batasher modhe anondo khuje pay akash anondo khuje pay amra pai na tai ami bolchi sarodhon अनेक बस दरकार नहीं देख आकाशे बतास दिखे तक भगवान के देखे तुम आनंद दाओ हमें आनंद पे गम्भीर कि ब्रह्म तो सब सोजा बेपार क्यों तीन तो सर्वत्र सब जगह सब जगह ठाकुर देखते गंदिर दुर्गा प्रतिमा दर्शन करते हम एक बचर अपेक्षा करते हैं कि ब्रह्म ईश्वर तीन तो सर्वत्र सर्वभूत